This is the training on the microsurgery instruments and suture. Firstly, we will start with the microsurgery instruments. When performing a microvascular anastomosis, the following microsurgical instruments and vascular clamps are used. Let's look at each one of them in detail. Jeweler's forceps have very thin and pointy tips. Often, they are held with the non-dominant hand to grab tissues or tie a suture. Angled jeweler's forceps have bent tips and are a modified form of regular jeweler's forceps. They are used to tie a suture or to check for the opening of a vessel. A vessel dilator has thin and long tips that are designed to be atraumatic. It's inserted in the vessel lumen to dilate the vessel or to behave as a source of contradirection when suturing. Dissecting scissors are used when dissecting tissues. The tip of the scissors is bent so that one can dissect very close to the vessels with a lower chance of perforation. The adventitious scissors have a sharp and straight tip and are used to separate out the adventitia or to cut suture materials. A needle holder is used to hold a needle and to ligate a vessel. Its tip can be either straight or curved and it can be capable or incapable of locking. If a needle holder has a locking feature, you can lock it by squeezing the handle until it clicks and unlock it by squeezing again. Vascular clamps are used when performing an anastomosis. They clamp the end of the vessels to prevent blood loss. There are two different types of vascular clamps, one for the arteries and one for the veins. The clamps for the arteries have bent tips to prevent slipping from the thick artery walls when placed on the vessels. Those for the veins have flat edges. The vascular clamp provided during the microsurgery training can be used for both the arteries and the veins. Please check before and after the training if you have them to not lose them. These are the clamp applying forceps that are used when holding vascular clamps. When clamping, please use appropriate forceps according to the shape of the vascular clamp. Furthermore, please remember to not use the jeweler's forceps when dealing with vascular clamps. A background material is a thin piece of plastic film that is placed under the vessel during microsurgery to improve the view for the surgeons. It is also used to separate the vessels from the surrounding tissues to prevent any damage to the tissues and to prevent them from coming in the way of the surgery. Next, we will learn about the suture materials. A suture material represents any thread that is used in a surgical procedure to stitch up or ligate. It is categorized into an absorbable and a non-absorbable material. The absorbable suture material is categorized into natural ones such as catgut and a synthetic one such as vicryl. The non-absorbable material is categorized into natural material such as ethibon and a synthetic suture material such as nylon. Moreover, there are braided multifilament suture materials and non-braided monofilament suture materials. Let's look at each one of them in detail. One of the absorbable natural suture materials is catga, which is made out of purified collagen from mammals. Among the absorbable synthetic sutures, examples of multifilament suture are dexin and vicryl. Vicryl is widely used as it has little tissue response with a high tensile strength. PDS, 
monocryl, and maxin are examples of the absorbable synthetic sutures. PDS is used for wound closure during an abdominal surgery. Maxon is often used for the closure of the esophagus and the bronchial tubes due to its high tensile strength. One of the non-absorbable natural sutures is silk, which is obtained from specialized silkworms. Nylon and proline are non-absorbable synthetic sutures that are monofilament. They are usually used for microvessel surgeries. Ethibond is a non-absorbable synthetic suture that is multifilament. It is used in surgeries such as heart valve surgeries due to its high tensile strength. There are three parts in a suture needle, the point, the body, and the swage. There are also different types depending on the attachment of a suture thread. A swage needle has an attached thread. An eye needle has a hole at one end that can carry a strand of thread. A French needle has a hole where one can hang a strand of thread. There are many types of suture needles depending on their curvature, such as one-third and three-eight circles. As shown here, taper point, cutting, and spatula are the shapes of a tip. If there is a severe tissue response to the suture material while performing a microvascular anastomosis, Problems such as stricture and thrombus formation can be aroused. Therefore, non-reactive, non-absorbable materials such as nylon and proline are used. These are often found as a swaged needle with 3 8 circle. Usually, a taper point needle is used for normal vessel anastomosis and a taper cutting needle is used for stiff vessel anastomosis. The size of a suture needle that is used for microvascular anastomosis is from 8 to 11. One should not use the tip of an instrument to hold any hard objects and should place instruments that are not currently being used in their designated holders to prevent them from falling. Please mark your own instruments so that third parties cannot use them. Please discard surgical blades and suture needles in the sharps container. This is the end of the training on the microsurgical instruments and suture. Thank you.